I cut the check, I cut the check, I cut the check Tell my niggas we up next, so we up next She shot a text, she shot a text, she shot a text Kill the p- I might put the Different bitch to day, rest Put a nigga on that same shit I've been ballin' with my niggas Cause of Cambridge Oh, you drippy, but you better Tuck your chain quick Yo, what's up, y'all? We back with another video. First off, I want to say thanks for all the love that I'm getting on that last Ben Simmons video. Um, getting a lot of views, a lot of watch hours. Um, people actually watching the video. Like, as soon as I uploaded in like two hours, I have 45 views. So that's that's a number for me. Like, I never touched that in that in that little bit of a time. But um, subscribe though. A lot of people viewing it, but they not subscribing. Y'all watching most of the video, so subscribe. You like you obviously like the video, so subscribe. I don't understand that, but yeah, thank y'all for that. But um, I wanted to bring this special video. This shit had me thinking the other day. I was just playing 2K, doing a rebuild, cause like it's really the only thing to do on 2K. 2K is terrible. So I was doing a rebuild. I think I was doing like a Pistons rebuild, and then I seen like the Warriors had two picks. I already knew that, but I was like, yo, they really have two picks. So this video. Is about the Warriors. I think they're cooking up some deep. I think they are. And then you see these trade, these trade rumors, James Wiseman and trades. They have two picks, but I'm just praying that they do trade them. But let's just go into it. Last year, well, this past year, this past season, Steph Curry played as an as an MVP. Damn, Steph Curry played in an MVP level type year. He played really good. He he was probably the best player in the league. They gave it to Jokic, but um, to a lot of people, if you ask them, they'll say Steph Curry had the best year out of any player in the league. And I won't argue that. I think Steph Curry was the best player this year. Um, he showed that he was able to carry a team. Now, this team wasn't like the team from last year. This team wasn't as terrible. You had a second scoring option in, um, in Andrew Wiggins. Draymond Green got back to his little defensive player of the year type mode. But, like... It still wasn't the team that they were accustomed to, and he carried them a long way. Now, if this was, if there wasn't no play in, he would have carried them to the playoffs. But the first year to play in, and they lost to the Grizzlies, lost to the Lakers, so they missed the playoffs. But um, you can see that his decline is not coming anytime soon. So he was obviously one of the best players in the league this season. Like then, like I said. You had Draymond. Draymond kind of resurrected his career. Like, you look on 2K, bro. They got him. <laughs> they got Draymond so terrible. They trade him every single year on every single rebuild. Eric Pascal is always the new starter. Eric Pascal barely played this whole year. But, yeah, they, they don't like Draymond. Draymond declined so bad. Like, the second year in a rebuild, he's like a 77 overall. But I hopefully hopefully they, they give him his respect on his next game because he had a really good season. All, all in all, he had a really, really good season. Was their defensive anchor for this team because they really didn't have a consistent center and he was there the whole time. Um, he had a couple games where he was hurt, but Draymond was there basically the whole year. He had a really good season. His impact was felt throughout the whole team. You seen Wiggins came in and Wiggins, soon as he got the impact from Draymond, became one of the best defenders in his league. It, it's a hard, it's a hard thing to say, but it's it's true, bro. Wiggins is. On some defensive shit this year, he could have made the team, the defense, all defense team, but that shit, it's stacked. It's stacked. A lot of people are just good at defense, man. People like Dylan Brooks didn't make the list. It's it's stacked. But like Wiggins had a really good resurrection year, even though he only averaged like 17, 18 points, man. He was actually felt on both sides of the ball, and you seen it. You seen the impact from winning basketball and playing with the Warriors, man. They're going to push you, and I'm happy that he got that push because he's a person that definitely needed because a lot of people already seen it. Artists always said it that Wiggins has a lot more to his game, but he just hasn't had it unlocked because he's never been pushed. Yeah, what's up? My light head fell off my desk. That, that kind of pissed me off. But yeah, you seen it, man. Wiggins actually turned into a real consistent 3D wing this season. And he actually upped up. He upped a lot of his numbers. Not as far as his scoring numbers, but his assist numbers, rebounds, shooting. His shooting splits was better. He was more consistent. So it was a really good year from him. I think they found their Jordan Clarkson off the bench and Jordan, Jordan Poole, man. Jordan Poole was a really nice player who... If you look at it, he probably is. He probably can be more than Jordan Clarkson, but like in this year, he was 
a really, really good six man. When he was healthy, a really good six man. He started off the year in the G League, and I felt like that was something that he really needed, and it helped him. It helped this game out a lot. And then he got impl- implemented into this, um, into the lineup, and then implemented into the system, and he took off from there. Jordan Poole had a great second half of the season. He, he's one of those shooters now. Definitely one of the shooters. They run a lot of plays for him, a lot of off-ball screens for him. He's definitely one of their shooters now. And I like I like his role, man. And I like how they give him the go when it comes to the bench. Because when you look at their bench, they don't really have scoring. They like to play um, wigs with the bench, but sometimes he just don't be there. So they just give it to Jordan Poole, and Jordan Poole does his thing, bro. So shout out to him. Um, and then you got the pieces that you don't know. Kelly Oubre, is he coming back? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he wants a bag, which he deserves, depending on what you label a bag as. For Kelly Oubre, a bag is like $20 million. But, yeah, he definitely deserves that. He's still young. Kelly Oubre like 26 so definitely deserves that. Um, you got James Wiseman. Had an on and off rookie season. I, I believe he still made the rookie team, if I'm not mistaken. He had a decent first half of the season that went down with that knee injury. And kind of he missed the sec- whole second half of the season. But it was kind of some... On and off stuff from him, even when he was playing, as far as it was hard for him to get implemented into the system. I mean, into their offense. And that's not on him for a person that hasn't played basketball in like a year and a half. That's not on him. And plus, you're a rookie, but that's a hard system to learn. That's why a lot of people felt like they should have traded the pick last year because you're drafting a center that is not a type of center that you guys want. Yes, he's able to shoot the ball. Yes, he has a high ass upside, but. I don't need that. <laughs> that was the whole point of that. That's what, that's what a lot of people felt like. They didn't need James Wiseman. So they didn't need him to get that upside to win. They didn't need that. So that's why a lot of people felt like they should have traded that pick and they, they didn't trade it. But I know they're kind of regretting it because now you see James Wiseman in trade rumors, as he should be. And I feel like the Warriors got something cooking, bro. They, I didn't even talk about it. Clay coming back. The bench is the bench is funny. Even though I, I I just thought about Jordan Poole. The bench is fun. You got Juan Toscano, Draymond Green 2.0. He's learning from Draymond. He's gonna get a lot of tips and tricks from Draymond, and I expect him to come back even better. Um, Damian Lee, a shooter off the bench, hit a game winner for them this year. Um, Kevin Looney, consistent role player for them, always steps up. But and then like I said, you got Clay coming back. Next year, this Warriors team can be on the top of the West again. With these two draft picks, let's say this. This is a 7th and a 14th draft pick. I always talk about this team. Pacers, blow it up. Kyrie LeVert, you're safe. Everybody else, blow it up. Just blow it up. Because you're not going to win nothing. You're not. You're not. <laughs> so, just blow it up. So, let's say this. You see DeMontis Sabonis. I didn't mean, mean to do that. You see DeMontis Sabonis. The 7th overall pick, 14th overall pick, and it sucks that they have to do this. They might have to give up Wiggins just to make the money's work. Because I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, um, Sabonis is making $28 million, something like that. So they have to do that to make the money's work. And even if he's not making that money, he needs to get paid. So you have to give up Wiggins. And this sucks, man, because, bro, he really was having a really good season with them. And I, I was looking forward to seeing him build on to, them, to that system and to this Warriors team. But Wiggins and James Wiseman. Who says no? I don't think the Pacers say no. That's a good building block. You get James Wiseman, so you're able to really, um, really train him and get him better because he needs it. And he has a lot of upside. Like he has like one of the best centers in the league upside. So you get to build on that. You get to build on that potential. Then you still get Wiggins, who's still a young player and is still a young scorer. And with the stuff that he he learned in um, Golden State, hopefully he can come there and imply it to um, your team. And I feel like that would just be a good fit for him. He'll come back being another. He'll be the um, number one option on that team. Well, him and Karis LeVert will fight for that number one option. But I don't think the Pacers say no for that. I don't think so. I hope the Pacers just realize it's a ceiling with this team that they had. Yes, they're always going to be a playoff team, but that's it. Nobody's stepping in at Indiana no time soon. They're just going to have to draft their star because nobody's going to Indiana, bro. You see what they did? They traded. They tra- They drafted uh, Paul George. Traded for Victor and Debo and Simonis. They not. Nobody's stepping in there in no time soon. So I say. 
they should make that trade. And for the Warriors, bro, having some bonus in a Warriors offense just seems unstoppable. It really does, bro, because you're going to have to pick your points. That high screen in a row with some bonus is going to be hard to guard. Especially with his passing ability. It's going to be hard to guard. It's not going to take him time at all to learn that offense, bro. It's not. It's not. But then you say, all right, maybe they don't want to give up their all-star. That's cool. If I'm the Warriors, I'm still trading that seventh overall pick, and I'm trading it for Miles Turner. If I'm the Warriors, you don't need a, a top 10 player coming out the draft. You don't need that. If they get that 14th overall pick, a person is going to fall. A person is going to fall. It's just, it's going to happen. So if I'm them, I'm trading that seventh overall pick. And if I'm not mistaken, you still have to trade Wiggins. And you probably going to. Oh, maybe you don't. Yeah, because James Wiseman is the number two overall pick. They get like $8 million. So yeah, I'm trading that seventh overall pick and I'm tra- trading James Wiseman for Miles Turner. A center, that, like I said, it, he's not going to have to learn that offense. It's not going to be long for him because it fits for, perfectly for him because he's just shooting and shooting and shooting. And then when you go to the defensive side, you got to score on him and Draymond. That shit's going to be so impossible, bro. And you run out of lineup of Curry, Clay Thompson, Wiggins, Draymond, Miles Turner. That's right back on the top of the West. Clay's not going to come back and be the all-star that he was in the, in the past. It's going to take him time. But then you got Seth Curry playing as the best player in the league. Draymond Green playing as one of the best defenders in the league. Then you add that with Wiggins and Miles Turner. Like, they're going to be good. Yeah. I like the potential of what the Warriors can do this offseason. Because they had the potential to be one of the best teams in the league again next year. A lot of people said the dynasty was over. I don't think so. <laughs> Why are my allergies kicking in in the middle of the fucking video? Oh my god! But yeah, I don't feel like I don't feel like this dynasty is over at all. I feel like just with a couple more pieces that are not young that are playing years in the best in the NBA, just help out. <laughs> wow, allergies suck. They really do. But yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like the Warriors got a lot of ways they can change up this offseason. They got a lot of ways, bro. And they better do it. They better do it like they did last year. Where everybody was speculating, yeah, they're going to trade that number two overall pick. And they just... (laughs) They just didn't do it. I'm sorry. I'm sneezing, bro. I hate allergies. And it's raining outside. I don't know what the hell. But yeah, they better trade that pick. Both of them picks. They better. Because they don't need them. You can bring in one player to help out the bench. That's it. So keep that 14th overall pick. Even if it's the 7th overall pick, I'm trading that for Miles Turner. You might be like, it's the 7th overall pick, bro. The Warriors don't have to have a young player. Like, 14th is better because then you get those players that are well implemented, that the players that have been in college for a couple more years. You get them NBA-ready players. You don't need that 7th overall pick when you're drinking your um, drafting on one and done player. To come in and play with the Warriors... This team that happened with James Wiseman, bro, it don't work. It don't work. So, hey, it should be an exciting offseason. I want to say shout out to the Phoenix Suns. They just made the NBA Finals yesterday. Shout out to them. Shout out to Chris Paul in a legacy game, dropping 40 points in his old home. That's it. That's amazing. Um, shout out to Paul George, uh, Reggie Jackson, Pat Bev for ha- for having the um. A great postseason. Shout out to the Clippers. Shout out Tyron Lue. Tyron Lue deserves everybody's respect, man. He had a really good postseason as a coach. Shout out Monty Williams. Um, another great coach. Had a really good postseason. Shout out to the Suns, man. Hopefully, whoever they play is, is healthy. I don't want to get no sweep in the finals. That shit is just going to... That will piss me off. So, hopefully Giannis comes back. Hopefully Trey Young comes back. One of them. I would... I ain't gonna lie, bro. If the Hawks were to make it and Trey Young comes back and he looks good, Hawks win in the finals. If the Hawks go this far, they're winning in the finals. The Hawks are a good ass team, bro. They are a good team. Now, the only hard thing is Devin Booker and, uh, and, um, what's the name? Chris Paul, they're gonna be going after Trey Young. But I feel like that's a, it's a way to, to hide that. Like, they're hiding him right now. 
Because Drew Holiday can go out to Trey Young. Chris Middleton can go out to Trey Young. So they're finding a way to hide it right now. But, like, it's going to be a hard series for him. But I just, if Trey Young make it this far, I'm not betting against Trey Young. And that's a crazy thing to say. It's in, the nigga's in his third year in the league. But I'm not betting against Trey Young, bro. Trey Young is that guy. The Hawks, Hawks are a good ass team. Bro. You seen it the other day? They put in Cam Reddish, who hasn't played since fucking February. He didn't look like he lost a step. They are a deep team, bro. Them boys deep. But yeah, can't wait for the finals. Hopefully, we get a healthy Giannis. Because if Giannis comes back and he's healthy, he looks good. Then I'm picking him to win the whole thing. But hey, we'll see. I'll talk to y'all later, bro. My allergies is killing me. Uh, that's it. Yeah, peace out.